Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this mask with a nose bridge and filter pocket. As you can see, this pocket opens wide enough to put a filter in. This mask is different than most of my other masks, but what I like is it expands and makes it more breathable. I made the ear channels so you can choose to use elastic behind the ears or behind the head. All right, let's get started. For this mask, there is no printout for this pattern. I will give you the measurements. You will need to cut one piece of fabric and that is eight and a half by 15. Take it to the sewing machine and sew straight down using a zigzag or overlock stitch. Using a zigzag or overlock stitch will help the fabric edge from fraying. Fold your fabric in half. Mark or pin at two and a quarter inch from the side edge. Now do the other side and mark two and a quarter inch. Take it to the sewing machine, start here and stop. Go past the opening and start here and stop. Sew a quarter inch from the edge. Stop when you get to the pin. I'll pass the opening. And I'll start my sewing at the pin mark. This is what you should have. An opening in the center. Now we'll iron it. And I'm going to flip over my board. One side is for cutting and the other side is for pressing. If you're interested in this quilter cut and press, I'll list it down below in the description, as well as all the other items I show in this video. Press the seams open with your fingers. Grab your iron and press. We'll turn it inside out, and this is optional if you want to press this side. Take it to the sew machine and give it a top stitch on each side. Go straight down here and straight down here. What we are doing is sewing the seam down. We don't want to sew the bottom material. It will be a little tricky, so I'll put it in the machine this way slowly feeding it through. Double check to make sure the bottom fabric is out of the way. Feed the top fabric through and every so often stop and make sure the bottom fabric gets pulled back so it don't get sewed. Repeat for the other side, and I'll do mine off camera to save some time. I went a little crooked on my top stitch when I was trying to film, but no biggie. This is not going to be seen. This is on the other side, so if you're crooked too, don't even worry about it. Next, grab your ruler and mark half an inch from the seam on each side. This is where we will fold it, just like this. Grab your iron and press. Take it to the sewing machine and sew about an eighth of an inch from the edge all around the four corners. I will fast forward through the sewing part and if you like to slow it down, YouTube has this wonderful feature to do that. Just click the gear below the video on a computer or click the three dots that are above the video on a phone or a tablet and change the playback speed. 
After you complete the sewing, the next step is adding a nose bridge. A few ideas of items you could use is a pipe cleaner, cut it to the size you prefer, a twisty from the grocery store, or any twisty you have at home, and the last, a nose bridge that I will be using and I purchased these on Amazon for $5.99 for a hundred of them. I'll list it down below in the descriptions. These can be placed on the outside or inside. I will place mine inside and the sticker will be facing at me. I'll center it, push it to the top, and I'll pin it to keep it in place. Take it to the sewing machine and sew straight across. I got my nose bridge locked in and just below it is my filter pocket. We want to place the filter pocket facing down and then we need to make three pleats. I find sewing clips work best when you want to hold thicker material. If you don't have any sewing clips, hair clips will work as well. Now you want to try to get your mask to measure three inches in length. If you go three and a half, that works as well. Press it. Take it to the sew machine and sew up on each side. You only need to tack down the sides. You will need to cut a piece of fabric that is two by nine inches. And I just noticed that I could easily make a bias tape with this cut and press board because I can see where the one inch line is. Fold your fabric in half an inch and press. Then repeat for the other side. This is the front of the mask. Open up your bias tape and we'll lay it on top. We want to line up the edges. Overlap about a quarter of an inch on the top here, then wrap it to the back and clip it. Grab the other end and wrap it to the back and we want to leave a quarter inch back here. So we'll trim it right about here. Secure it with a clip or a pin. Now let's repeat for the other side. Take it to the sew machine and sew straight down on the iron crease. Repeat for the other side. Once you sew on each side, grab the end Pull it to the back and now we'll fold this edge over, make sure it's even and press it. Now let's do the bottom. Now we're going to fold it over where the crease is and fold again. Grab a clip and clip it in place. Repeat for the other side. Take it to the sewing machine and sew on each side. Now that you have the side sewed down, we just completed all the sewing. What we need next is some elastic. I picked up this elastic band on Amazon for $11.60. You get 54 yards and it's really soft and super stretchy. I love this elastic and highly recommend it. I'll list it down below in the description. You can also use a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch elastic. Cut two strips of elastic. I cut mine at 10 inches. You can cut yours the size you will need for your face. Next, you will need a safety pin or bobby pin. 
Place it at the end of the elastic. Insert it through the ear channel. There are two ways to tie the knot. Wrap it around your finger, then pull as hard as you can. The other way is double knot it, which I prefer to do. Then grab the two pieces, and then grab the two pieces on this side, and pull as hard as you can. Trim your ends, hide your knot, repeat for the other side. We are done. It's that simple and easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and free pattern. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support and views help me to continue to offer free patterns. Please share my videos in your social media. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.